Recently, the CDC did release guidance just this week when it comes to sleep yes. away camps. Um, many of them are, have decided not to open this year. It goes, you know, it's a state by state decision. From your perspective, right. I know this is a huge um, conversation in my house. Should parents be considering yeah. sending their kids to camp this year? Yeah, so, you know, in that situation, we're talking about the summertime very likely, and perhaps in the next one, two, or three months. So we are looking forward. And camps obviously happen in different parts of the country. We know that some parts are safer than others. I think it is a consideration that parents can have, but they need to take stock of where the camp is happening and what types of measures that camp may be putting in place. Um, you know, I know that many camps are choosing to do the day camps as opposed to the sleep away to minimize contact. Um, other camps are considering doing temperature checks and kind of... Um, adapting the behavior of the campers, making sure that they'll say they're in like small pods, for example, other uh, they have staggered times, whether it's arrival and departure and things like that. So many camps are doing things and trying to do things that schools are talking about doing in the fall. I think, you know, looking at camps is a reasonable consideration. Once again, look at where the camp is, look at what the camp is doing and the safety precautions they're making. Look at the risk level of your child. And as we look into the future, I think parents will be able to make better decisions. Oh, by the way, Hannah, you mentioned the CDC's guidance um, did come out last week or so. Uh, the 60 page full guidance has also been released, um, you know, through through media sources as well. That is a really great source for parents and business owners, et cetera, to take a look at all the details that can go into how we best keep ourselves safe. That is great. Fantastic insight. As always, Dr. Jen, we always love when you're on the show. Thank you so much, Dr. Jen Cottle, family physician.